do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Except, don't do what you want if you're a law-abiding citizen. The kids should have been taught that before they listened to that song. Right? Avast me hearties, gather around as I tell you the tale of the two but that be known as Captain Jack. This mechanical matey be proudly displayed in this orange cardboard crate. Simple minimalistic white along with a nice V across on the bottom. I can recreate this picture on the back of the crate just fine. But this illustration be crimping you on its actual functionalities. Captain Jack's vehicle mode be a land-lovering supercar and not some seafaring vessel as a submarine or speedboat. But I suppose the pirates eventually had to adapt to be land pirates sooner or later. I may not be savvy with these modern supercars, but I suppose this car is kind of like a one of those McLarens. It be looking super sleek and curvaceous, ready to cut through the winds. The bow sports some very nice intakes and these very angular headlights. With some intakes inside. All the modern sensibilities of a supercar. The stern be also sporting a nice red fin streaking across the back, like some sort of shark fin. And these little vents are also reminiscent of those shark gills. In addition to these lovely red lights, he be also be sporting the typical gas valve and an anchor is proudly tattooed on the rear. An engraved license plate can be discovered on the dung bee. 88SHO223. I think this be some referential date or code only the designer knows. A secret buried away with lock and key. The starboard be also sporting a Tobot V across. Is that a scratch on this brand new car? Oi, blimey. His blue plastic be as swirly as the stormy sea. And not this shiny blue as the balloons or calm waters. Indeed, Captain Jack hails from Suko Toys and Novelty Limited. Instead of the tried and true Dong Guang Bao Hoi Toys. To transform this mechanical man, first batten down the arms and pull them out. And then you can drop the anchor on his lower torso and split those sea legs. And adjust the toes and the side kibble. Vold is up on his back. And I bet you didn't know there was this shark key hiding in the coffer. It blends so seamlessly. So take that out, come about for the head. Ahoy, Captain Jack. It be clear as the Captain Jack as I pirate through and through. He be sporting the ever popular eye patch. But I bet ye on Davy Jones' luck guy, he doesn't have a blacked out deadlight. And he be certainly hanging the jib. And the shape of the chest be like the stern of a ship. His tricorn may not sport the infamous Jolly Roger, but it certainly be pilfering some other famous headcrest. His breeches be striped and decked with cannons, with no need for gunpowder. Speaking of breaches, I suppose these back leg details are like, of these planks and pipes are like, they invoke engines. Engines that are revealed when you open this hood. But I think he be going overboard with all the shark details. Shark arms, shark hat, shark buckler, and even eyes on the groin. Shark knees, shark cuffs, shark feet. And even shark heels! 
Shark Hills! The shell on the raft be as loose as a line. Because, it's, it seems, this thing is a surfboard. And now the fin on the aft of the hood now acts as a little rudder. But alas, his sea legs be terrible on the so-called surfboard. Shame that there be no easy way to weigh down the anchor on his feet to the plank. What is even more bilgy is his back that is hollow as a skeleton with scurvy. The only duffel of Captain Jack is this shark toki. But without it, it be as useless as an old fish head. Also likely to be lost in the briny sea known as the toy box. And the illustration be horn swaggling ye at the actual attractiveness of this key. Jab it into its chest, and the shark will reveal its toothy grin and shoulder cannon which form some fine, fiery, fishy fins in the vehicle mode. But that not be all. To complete his extension mode, flip up the fin on his shark hat. Bring a spring upon her cable on the port hand. Extend some spikes. And pull out some guns. Now he be a literal man of war. All hands on deck. The hook hand of it be even engraved with cap. Jack. A yar har hearty touch, I say. Some of the wee lads might be disappointed this one key doesn't activate all the weapons. But if it did, Captain Jack would be as articulate as a chum bucket. Or the pickaroons that be the robots in disguise and cyberverse toys. But he might as well have been a brick, because his articulation is as stiff as barnacles. His head be fixed forward in a dead eye glare like a dead man. He cannot hoist his hands above his head. The land delivering designers be addled thinking. Scrubber that shoulder joint. This shoulder joint be just fine. Bicep swimmers be a myth. There be no thigh swimmers. Just the splitting legs and the 45 degree knees and toes. At least he be having a back arc. He be only be dancing to shanties as well as a flopping fish. He be better at dancing the hemping jig. Captain Jack be a jolly swashbuckling pirate transformer. A handsome pirate he is. But he be played with the curse of no shoulders, as with the not so great admiral. I bet ye he be speaking like a plebeian landlubber in his country of origin. But when he becomes a galaxy detective, ooh, shiver me timbers, what pirate is a detective? I bet he shall be speaking in a way ye be hearing now. He may make a fine bucko first mate or descendant of the old sea dog Captain Shark, or pit him against a scoundrel Decepticon Cannonball. But Captain Jack be bigger than Kraken compared to him. Yet he be a slightly shorter lad compared to his fellow buccaneers. Perhaps there shall be a mini Captain Jack, exactly as inarticulate as this big dog. If a pirate's life be the life for you, or at least pirate robots, then by all means, he be a merry addition to ye pirate robot transformers. Ye be paying a fine sum of pieces of eight if ye want him to sail the seven seas to join your crew. But if ye be not a pirate fan, then off with ye, ye bilge sucking blackguard son of a biscuit. <laughs> Thank ye for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, or ye shall walk the plank. I jest, I jest. So until we meet again, Farewell, ahoy, and Godspeed! Ah, oh, Barnacles, it's nowhere near talk like a pirate day!